It was perhaps one of the most striking images to come out of this weekend's protests. Yep. Yep. Pastor Travis Ferguson of Christ Lutheran Church was seen kneeling right here and praying as looters ransacked a Vons in La Mesa. It was a sense of calm amid so much chaos. News 8 caught up with him this morning, the morning after everything unfolded, and walked through the devastation. Here's News 8's Monique Riego. Well, this Vons right here is one of the many local businesses that was looted last night. And while this community definitely saw a lot of destruction, it also brought out the good in people. The images are shocking. Buildings on fire, looting, windows being broken at local businesses. But in the midst of the chaos, this image especially struck a chord with the community during last night's La Mesa riots. I looked at my phone and somebody had sent me a text that said the city hall was on fire and I, I said, you know what, I've, I've got to go down there. Pastor Travis Ferguson from Christ Lutheran Church in La Mesa praying in front of a Vaughn's grocery store as it was being looted. I saw the crowd over there at Vaughn's and uh, I just felt compelled to pray. Uh, for the people who were looting, for the police officers that went down that line. We walked with him to see some of the damage the day after. There was a lot of smoke coming out last night. Ferguson is no stranger to these types of incidents. He was a police chaplain when another city went up in flames. Michael Brown's stuff went down, and so I served as a police chaplain up in Ferguson and was there for the riots and the protests on both sides. And while the riots have their differences, he says the sadness, anger, and outrage over racial injustice is all the same. So at the end of the day, looting bonds, I mean, we said this before, is, is not going to change the problem that we're facing in our culture. And it's not going to change injustice. <laughs> It doesn't mean all cops are bad. I think that that's a wrong public perception, so they need prayer too. And I, maybe I'm a little biased as a former police chaplain, but I love police officers because they, they are here to serve and protect. And sometimes they, they don't do that job, and they should be held accountable just like anyone else. But a new day brought new energy, at least in the early morning hours. People coming out with broomsticks in hand to clean up and help protect what was destroyed. Small gestures and a much larger issue still going a long way. And that's the amazing thing about the human race is that, um, is that redemption aspect that we still want to help even in the midst of sadness and even in the midst of brokenness. And you can also see there is definitely still a large police presence here just in case anything happens again tonight. Monique Riego, News 8.